Good morning. My name is Father Rayapa. I am from the Diocese of Vello. I am a Catholic priest. And uh, today I am going to uh, talk about the recent encyclical written by Pope Francis on ecology and environment, Laudato Si. This encyclical is making headlines all over the world. And uh, the people of goodwill, not only Christians, everyone on the planet, seven billion, are reading it. And they are talking about it. And the governments, they are all cooperating with Pope Francis. And this is a, the best moment in our history. And uh, we are bringing out the best in human beings. We want to save. We want to care. We want to show compassion and mercy. That is our human capability. And I think we are putting our inner resources, in other words, human ecology, to our to practice. The inner resources are putting outside. We are not digging from earth and exploiting, but we are digging ourselves. So Pope is writing so beautifully in Laudato Si about ecology and environment. And in fact, he is going to explain himself what is he doing and what are the themes in Laudato Si. Uh, himself is writing in the paragraph number 15 and 16. And uh, I'm going to read it for you. It is best to listen from the source, from the writer himself, that is Pope Francis. And he's explaining chapter by chapter. There are six chapters and what he is up to in each chapter. And it comes from the heart of the pontiff, Pope Francis. Laudato Si, article number 15 and 16. Pope writes as follows. It is my hope that this encyclical letter, which is now added to the body of the church's social teaching, can help us to acknowledge the appeal, immensity and urgency of the challenges we face. I will begin by briefly reviewing several aspects of the present ecological crisis with the aim of drawing on the results of the best scientific research available today, letting them touch us deeply and spiritual itinerary that follows. I will then consider some principles drawn from the Judeo-Christian tradition which can render our commitment to the environment more coherently, I will then attempt to get to the roots of the present situation so as to consider not only its symptoms but also its deepest causes. This will help to provide an approach to ecology which respects our unique place as human beings in this world and our relationship to our surroundings. In light of this reflection, I will advance some broader proposals for dialogue and action which would involve each of us as individuals and also affect international policy. Finally convinced, as I am, that change is impossible without motivation and a process of education. I will offer some inspired guidelines for human development to be found in the treasure of Christian spiritual experience. He continues in the paragraph number 16 in Laudato Si. Although each chapter will have its own subject and specific approach, it will also take up and re-examine important questions previously dealt with. This is particularly the case with the number of themes which will reappear as the encyclical unfolds. As examples, 
I will point to the intimate relationship between the poor and the fragility of the planet, the conviction that everything in the world is connected, the critic of new paradigms and forms of power derived from technology, the call to seek other ways of understanding the economy and progress, the value proper to each creature, the human meaning of ecology, the need for forthright and honest debate, the serious responsibility of international and local policy, the throwaway culture and the proposal of a new lifestyle. These questions will not be dealt with once and for all, but reframed and enriched again and again. Laudato Si, Pope Francis, Encyclical on Ecology and the Environment. Please read it, especially I just read paragraph number 15 and the paragraph number 16, which explain each and every chapter, all the six chapters, one by one, Pope Francis is stating clearly what is the subject he is dealing with. And happy reading and God bless. Goodbye.